Hello, in this video, we will look at icons and gadgets which are displayed on the desktop. On the desktop, we see icons which help you to execute commands, open programs or documents quickly. They are classified as folder icons, file icons and shortcut icons. Files store data while folders, also referred to as directories, stores files or on other folders. A shortcut could be a link to a program on the computer or any link on the internet. It is identified by a small arrow at the bottom of the icon. Few special icons you will typically see on the desktop are recycle bin and computer icon. The recycle bin is where the files we delete go to. It allows us to recover the files if required. It is the only must-have icon on the desktop. The computer icon allows the user to explore the drives and all the files and folders on the computer. By default, it will show C drive, which is the default hard drive storing all the data. Though many computers will have many more drives and CD drive as well. On the desktop, there are few options to view and arrange icons. If you click on the icon, it just selects the icon. If you double click on it, it opens the associated program. If you right click on the desktop, the view button lets you change the size of the icon to small, medium or large. It also has the option to show or hide the icons and also auto arrange the icons on the desktop. You can also change the arrangement of icon by selecting sort which allows you to arrange icon by name, size, type or date. On the desktop, you can also add gadgets which are mini programs or frequently used tools. Example include calendar, clock, etc. When you right click on the desktop, gadgets appear on the shortcut menu. On selecting gadgets, it displays all gadgets which are installed on the machine. Double clicking on any of them will add it to the desktop. You can drag and drop the gadget anywhere on the screen and if you want them to remove them from the desktop, you can right click on them and choose to close the gadget from the shortcut menu. You can also customize the background, themes and screensaver on the desktop. The background is the wallpaper which is displayed on your desktop. To change the background, we press the right button of your mouse anywhere on the desktop. From the shortcut menu, we select Personalize. You can click on the desktop background and select a background of your choice. A screensaver is an animated image which is displayed on the monitor if your computer is left idle for some time. In the same personalized option, you can select the desired screensaver and change the timing in the wait box after which we want the screensaver to appear. We can then either select to preview or apply the changes. Windows 7 also has arrow themes in personalized option. It is a combination of desktop background, windows color, sound and screensaver. Instead of changing each of them individually, you can apply the preset arrow theme simultaneously to all.